Here's the formula for the area of the sector of a circle. Pi r squared times c over 360, where c is the central angle in degrees, r is the radius, pi is approximately 3.14159. Well, what's really happening here is that this is the area of the entire circle. Area equals pi r squared. And this is the fraction of that area that we're interested in. If we have a triangle angle of 30 degrees, 30 360ths of the entire area. So to use the formula, you'd say pi times the radius squared, which would be 64. And then what fraction of the entire circle's area are we interested in? 30 out of 360. And this 30 out of 360 really reduces to 1 12th. Divide by 10, 3 into 36 is. So we have 64 by times 1 12th or divided by 12. We can reduce that to divide by 4 maybe. 16 pi over 3. Now, here's a website that actually uh, does this for a circle of radius 4. And you can adjust the central angle. And as you can see, is the central there's central angle of 30 degrees, 30 out of 360. 16 pi is the area. As that central angle increases, the area of the sector gets bigger and bigger. There's... half a circle, half a 16 pi would be 8 pi, and we could go all the way around, I guess, and we'd have the area of the entire circle. Well, no, we wouldn't. Okay, interesting. There we go. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. Uh, do you really want to memorize this formula? Well, I guess you can if you want to, but it's probably better just to think of it as the sector is a fractional portion of the area of the entire circle. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post it.